let's head back home and wake Sarah up. Fingers crossed she's feeling much better today. Hello, Brinny. Hello, baby. Hello. Did you miss me on the school run? Did you miss me when I went to take the girls? Good girl, Brinny. Hello, darling. Good morning. Good girl. You love your papa? You love your papa? Yeah, you love your daddy. Good girl. Remember, 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 I'm so excited, good girl. My drink literally just exploded all over me. <laughs> what? <coughs> You're such a good boy. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, how are we all doing today? I am feeling slightly better. I'm not as stuffed up and full of headache and having sinus pain as I have been. So I'm hoping that yesterday, my day of rest has put me on the road to recovery. I literally sound like I've had the worst illness ever. It has only been a virus. But it's been a bad one. But yeah, I decided today I had to get up, get dressed, get bathed, do my hair, do my makeup, and come outside because yesterday I literally spent, as you know if you watched yesterday's vlog, all day in my pajamas, no makeup, didn't even brush my hair. Oh, MG. Radio's just come back on. <laughs> <laughs> this car is so annoying. If you watch our vlogs, you'll know that we bought this car recently and. We've had Chris, some electrical problems. Chris had been saving up for so, so, so long to <coughs> buy us a nice, decent, big family car. And we've just had nothing but problems yeah. with the electronics. Yeah, we've just had nothing but problems with the electronics and the radio not working and the sat nav not working. And it's just been really frustrating. But the music's just come on. It sporadically does that. Anyway, we are now on our way to our peer box here in Leeds City Centre to pick up our mail. We are super duper excited. It feels so good to be back up and back out into the real world, even though I've only had one day at home. <laughs> I'm one of those people that I really struggle to not do anything. Like Chris keeps saying to me, you need to rest, you need to rest. And it's so hard to do when you have children and not because of the reasons you may be thinking like I need to cook or I need to do chores. It's nothing to do with that because Chris is amazing and he has no problems taking over mummy duties or wife duties and doing all the chores and everything for the girls. It's just that when it's a weekend and we're all home and it's a Saturday and the weather's okay outside and I'm just laying there thinking, hmm, what could I be doing with the day instead of laying here, wasting a day away? And I just really struggle to just relax and do nothing. So I'm so glad that I'm back out today. Chris is off today and he's off tomorrow. There is days off this week. And what you got planned? Fun, fun, what plan, fun planned we got? <laughs> what have we got planned that's fun? Um, we're gonna, we're gonna do a day date tomorrow. We're doing a day date it. tomorrow because we didn't get to do it last week. So I'm looking forward to that. So that'll be fun. Uh, so we just got to our PO box. We're gonna go pick up all of our mail. I'm so excited. It's been a little while since we picked it up. So there might be a lot, guys. I hope so. Well, I can't wait. Can't wait to find out. Let's go see. I love these days. It's so exciting going to see what you guys have sent us. We actually had a message the other day saying there was a big, big sack, so please come and get it. So yeah, excited. Gone to the post office back in 10 minutes. 
Well, that's just put water on my fire. Oh well, back to the car for 10 minutes. <laughs> no worries, no worries. It better be 10 minutes as well. This place that we have our mail come to, it's like a storage company. They store stuff, and we have like a storage unit here. So our mail comes to here and they store it for us. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It, yeah, it is, but um, it's gone to the post office. There's a sign on the door saying um, he's gonna be back in 10 minutes. So this is back in 10 minutes. Gone to the post <gasps> office. So that has just poured water on my bonfire. No, it's only 10 minutes, we'll just wait. Yeah. The guy's just pulled in now. Let's go! That was actually only like two minutes. Obviously he went to the post office eight minutes ago when we arrived, so. I'm so excited guys. Can't wait to see what is here. Oh my gosh, is that for us? Yeah, is that one? Oh, man. Oh, cool. Okay, cool. I'll be back in a sec. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Oh, my goodness. I can't even tell you how heavy this is as well. This is insane. Thank you all so much. This isn't even all of it either. There's another big box and so many letters. Sarah's face is like her jaws on the floor. Oh, help. Help me! <laughs> oh my gosh! Right guys, two seconds while I get this in the boot. Oh you guys, I can't even tell you how amazing this makes us feel. I literally can't even tell you. I can't wait to get stuck into these. Got some more, yeah? Look at that, you guys. Man, I cannot wait to get stuck into all of that awesome mail, guys. Thank you all so much. Sarah and I are gonna go grab some lunch now, and then we're gonna head back up towards Ireland to pick up the girls from school. It's like two o'clock? Just before. Just before two, so yeah, we're gonna go grab some lunch, a quick, nice lunch, probably from like, Greg's. Greg's Oh, lunch. you do know how to treat a lady. Well, yeah, we wanted to have a small lunch today. <laughs> it's a little past lunch now, so we want to have a small lunch because we're going to have a big Mexican for dinner tonight. So we want something small. So Greg's is the perfect solution. Let's go get a pasty from Greg's. Let's go get a pasty from Greg's. It's typical British, guys. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, we've got a very northern lunch this afternoon. So we've got a Greg's. It's Greg's northern. Pepperoni. Well, I don't know. Yorkshire. It's pasty Yorkshire? No. Pasties? No, it's not. Pasties Cornwall. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ignore everything I just said. <laughs> We've got a Greg's lunch today, guys. We'll just call it Greg's. We've got a Greg's lunch, because that's what it is. I've got a pepperoni pizza slice. Looks super yummy. And a sausage bean and cheese pasty. You're such a pie. What have you come for? I just went for a steak and cheese roll, you know, like a normal person. You've got that tiny skinny roll? That's a normal it. person would just get one thing. That's not going to fill you up. I swear, that guy has hollow legs. <laughs> no, I've got a high metabolism. It probably won't last for many more years, so I need to make the most of it right now. Anyway, we're heading back over home now to pick up the girls and nip to the shops and grab our dinner for tonight. Let's go. Just collecting the girls from school. We haven't got Isabel tonight. She is at a special extra class tonight for her SATs. The, the school's driving these extra classes for year six at the minute in prep for the SATs that are coming up shortly. So she's staying an extra after school tonight to do her SATs class. So I'm just getting Esme and Isla right now and we're gonna take them to do something that they're gonna absolutely love. So let's go and get my munchkins. So we've just picked up my munchkins from school and we're just at the car wash! Yay! These guys absolutely love coming to the car wash, don't you, babe? Yeah. Except the car wash isn't working today, so we're doing a jet wash instead. The car's filthy, it needs doing. So we're going to jet wash it, aren't we, babe? Yeah? yeah? Uh, the water on it. 
These guys just love sitting in the car whilst I spray the windows and like spray all around the car. Yeah. They love it, don't you, baby? Yeah, but not inside the car. Let's go make the car clean. Yeah. Should we do it, yeah? One very clean car. I love when you first wash your car, how lovely it looks, especially when you valet it inside as well. It just looks absolutely gorgeous for like five minutes until the kids get back in it and it's ruined again. <laughs> so I'm gonna enjoy it for the journey home at least, being super, super clean and nice before all the girls get back in it and completely ruin it. I'm meaning really Sarah when I say that because obviously she's the messiest out of all the girls. It's actually a really lovely day today, hence why I've just whacked this hoodie on over my jumper and not gone with the coat today. It's not cold at all, there's no wind. It's very, very grey. Started really, really foggy this morning, guys. As you saw from my incredibly bad time lapse I did this morning, I got up super early, hoping the sun was gonna be out this morning for a good time lapse. The sun wasn't out, but I thought I'll still be able to get a good shot of the fog getting lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. So I did, I set the exposure completely wrong. So as the sun's coming up and it's getting lighter and lighter and lighter, the shot becomes completely overexposed and ruined. So apologies for my horrendously bad time lapse this morning that started the vlog today. I'll do better tomorrow. I'm planning on getting up really, really early because it's supposed to be sunny in the morning. So I want to capture that sunrise really, really nice over the hills in front of our house. I think it'll look absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, we need to head home. Sarah's prepping us a nice Mexican dinner as we speak. So, let's get home, because I am absolutely starving. Are you okay, Esme? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? We did a good job cleaning the car, didn't we, babe? Yeah, and I'm so excited to see Avia! You want to go see your baby? Yeah! Okay, baby, you go in then, darling. Yeah. Let's get my little Isla Savannah out. Let me get my Isla out, because my little booba doo doo isn't feeling very well, are you, darling? Tell me what's wrong. Oh, it's just my ears hurting. Which ears hurting, my darling? This one. How long has it been hurting for? Mm, since left field. And can you hear anything in it? No. No twitching? Like a little beetle? No. What about some squeaking like a mouse? No. Do you think a little mouse might have crawled in your ear? No. No? Should we have a look? Isla. <laughs> there's a set of spider's legs hanging out of your ear. <laughs> I'm only kidding, darling. We are all back home and I have to admit, I do have on my pyjama bottoms. If I'm in the house, I literally have to have on <coughs> at least my pyjama bottoms. I had to take my hair out as well because it was literally pulling on my head so much. You know when you've not worn your hair for ages and then you tie it off and it just hurts? Yeah, that bobble was definitely coming straight back out. Chris has just developed, not developed, has just realised that I was right all along. Haven't you, my love? Yeah, I did the Brita test. He did the Brita test from my water jug. I asked him if he'd pass me a glass of water to take some painkillers and he just had a drink and he was like, Oh my goodness, that does taste, taste different to tap water. Honestly, I challenge you all, get a Brita filter water filter like we've got, get a glass of normal water from the tap, a glass of Brita, they're completely different. They are. Normal water from the tap feels heavy, thick, totally different texture. Full of Brita chemicals. feels really light and soft and nice on your tongue. Honestly, I'm, I was not a believer. I was the biggest person to shoot anybody down saying, it there's tastes, no difference. There's no difference. You can't taste the difference. Don't be ridiculous. He says as he's walking around with his Sorry, my bad. very unhealthy bottle of Coke. But trust me, I'm a changed man. There is a difference. You can totally tell the difference. Big time. <laughs> I'm, I'm a fan of Brita Wil Brita Wilter? Brita Water. So Chris is now really excited that we've got a Brita jug. <laughs> right. We are about to start making some yummy Mexican for dinner tonight. We're having chicken fajitas and it's a barbecue flavour one although it says it's extremely mild it's not 
Isla likes it without the barbecue flavouring on because it's quite spicy. I do like to fill mine with sour cream and cheese to take any spice away. Esme is quite a spicy person. She quite likes spice. A spicy person. A spicy person. And Isabelle's not keen on spice. But yeah, we're going to make some barbecue chicken fajitas. what I did at school today well it wasn't at school it was after school so I have an after school um I go I do e an extra hour at school basically um just for my stats to help me so today the spellings and then on Thursday I do maths and so I was with um like a really good group today there's only three of us and so yeah and I'm going to show you what I did so we got given this green book and we had to write our name on it and the teacher said do you what Whatever you want it, you can you can do whatever you want to the book. And I was like, can you put smiley faces and everything? She was like, yeah, I don't care what you do to the book, just just do whatever you want to it. So I was like, yes. And so I wrote my name, and then I put booster book because that's what we call them. And then we I put my year six, and I put <laughs> hashtag sassy. So it's my absolute favourite time of the day. It is a little after six o'clock. We've all just finished dinner and cleaned up and I'm sat replying to all of your amazing comments. I absolutely love this time of day. There's nothing better than seeing your work go live and all of you guys responding to it in such an amazing way that you do. Thank you all so much. I'm gonna get replying to absolutely tons of comments right now, tons. But just before I do, I'm so, so happy right now I just had a knock at the door. I've been waiting for this delivery all day. So I bought a new GoPro session just before we went to Disneyland Paris. Urgh. This one, in fact, this little beauty. These are incredible, especially for action shots, underwater shots. They've got a great wide angle field of view. They're amazing to use. So easy, you click them on, they film, click them off, they stop. They film in perfect 1080p at 60 frames a second, even 4K, they're really, really good cameras. And unfortunately, when we were away in Disneyland, we didn't just have problems with this with our Canon G7X, although we later found out, obviously, we didn't really have a problem in the first place. We had problems with this as well. Since I bought it, it kind of, it's not doing as it should do. It doesn't turn on and film and then turn off and stop filming smoothly like it's supposed to do, it crashes a lot. So, I upgraded the software on it, I did loads of stuff that I could have done here to try and solve the problem, didn't work. So I returned it to Amazon yesterday. Amazon is so good, literally. I clicked return yesterday, last night, and then they sent me an email straight away saying that a new one would be on its way first thing in the morning. And it just arrived. A brand new GoPro Hero session. I'm so, so happy about that. I use these cameras all the time when skating, all the time. And there's so much stuff coming up that we're doing here for these vlogs as well that I need one of these for, especially for underwater stuff. So I'm really, really happy. I'm going to unbox it and make sure it does work, make sure it's all good. And then I need to send that other one back in the post tomorrow. So it's so pretty. It's such a little, little camera, but it is so powerful. There you go. That is what you get with the GoPro session. This tiny little cube. And basically, the idea is, if the camera will focus on it. The idea is that you click the on button on the top. It starts to film. And then you click it again to stop. And the camera shuts itself down completely. It saves loads of loads of battery life by not staying on longer than it needs to. You can take pictures with it also, you can film time lapses with it, it's super, super good. It's a really powerful camera. 
Let's see if it actually works. I think I've got a memory card here somewhere. So we pop the memory card into this side here. Like so. Click it shut. And fingers crossed, when I press this button at the top, it's going to power up. If it's got any battery, that is. It might not have any battery. It's going to power up and start filming. Yeah! It's working! <laughs> See, the other one wouldn't do that. Or the other one would do this and then it would crash. Let me see if it does actually stop and power down. Clicked. Yes! Yes! It does what it says on the tin! This one works. Perfect. Yes! I'm so happy with that. This one works. We've got a working GoPro back. That's fantastic. We're going to be able to do some great, great stuff with this. So I've just sat and replied to so many of your amazing comments. There's nothing like the way you feel reading all of your comments, guys. So thank you all so much. You've literally made my night. You make my night every single night. There's just nothing like that feeling. Nothing like it. It's just coming up to 8 o'clock. It's bedtime for the girls. So I'm going to go turn everything off and get everybody to sleep. Although it's very dark in here already. It's far too quiet in here for my liking. What are you guys up to? Well, I'm just watching a video. It's where this girl cuts open squishy toys and then she finds slime and orbs and stuff. So basically that. The things that kids watch on YouTube these days, guys. Man, if we had this technology when I was little. Hi, Isabel. I'm watching Netflix. You're watching Netflix. What are you watching, babe? It's a bit dark where you are, baby. I don't think I can see you on the camera. It's okay. What are you watching on Netflix? Just this vampire movie. Ooh. Because I like vampire stuff. Isabel's really into vampires at the minute. Where's my little Savannah Chops? Yeah. Are you good, my pretty? Yeah. What are you watching on your iPad? This. What is it? Um, it's where Anna gets her teeth checked and Elsa. Wow. And you and Elsa. That's so cool. I've got some bad news and some good news. What? Which one do you want first? The bad. The bad news. I'm afraid it's bedtime. Time to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what the good news is? What? It's time to go to sleep. Because you're tired, aren't you, darling? You are. You need to get your little bum to sleep. Right, my gorgeous girl, we're going to blow your lights out. Okay. Shall I help you tonight? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Should we give it a one, two, three? Yeah. Do you want to do it on your own or shall I help you? Um, okay, you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. <gasps> right then, I'm going to read out a few comments on tonight's vlog that made me smile. We've got so many comments tonight saying that they hope I feel better soon. So there's too many of those to read, but thank you all so much. Honestly, your comments make my day. And I can't remember who it was that wrote it, but somebody wrote a shouting, having a go at me about going to the doctors. About going to the doctors. And it basically said, I hope I've made you angry, but it's only because I care. And so thank you very much. I know you care. And I know I probably sound like the biggest hillbilly ever saying I'm not going to the doctors. It's not because I'm against going to doctors or anything like that. I just hate wasting people's time. And the thought of all the palaver that comes with booking an appointment, booking an appointment, getting to the doctors, waiting in a germy waiting room to be told you've got a cold, go home, it's just a virus. Just... It just doesn't appeal to me but if I'm still feeling like this in a day or two then I definitely definitely will go I just found one Lucy Wright Sarah how amazing is Chris doesn't he look after you when I'm poorly I don't get any sympathy but I try play I try play on it but it gets me nowhere still have to get up and trudge on I hope you're feeling better lovely Chris is literally amazing honestly when I'm ill well, even when I'm not Ill, not ill, it's, it still does literally so much for me. But yeah, when I'm ill, I don't have to worry about doing anything. He's just awesome. Brooke MSP, 
has said, please can I have the book for my auntie's birthday? She loves watching your family vlogs. And if we do, can your family sign it? That is so sweet. And yes, you can have the book. If you message our Facebook page, then I will get an address from you and we will all sign it and send it for your auntie for her birthday. So thank you very much for your lovely comment and I look forward to seeing your Facebook message. Georgie, Georgina Hughes, I think that Isabel's haircut is sassy. Isabel will love that comment tomorrow. Paige Lynn, 101, 101. These vlogs just keep me going through the day knowing that at 6.30 there will be a new video. How sweet. Thank you all so much for your awesome comments on tonight's vlog. Like I say every day and Christa's too, they mean so much to us and we do read all of them. <coughs> <coughs> Unfortunately, it's not always possible to reply to every single one, but we try our hardest every day and we do read them all. So thank you guys so much. I think we are going to end today's vlog here as we are going to settle down right now and watch some Netflix. What's the series called we're watching? One Man? Uh, no, Person of Interest. Person of Interest. If anybody's looking for a series to watch, it's really good. And the character's a little bit fit. Actually, I can say that out loud because Chris even said the same. Yeah, he's a good looking man. <laughs> he's a very good looking man. So that's okay. Right then, guys. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please give us a big thumbs up if you did. And subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And if you have and you're new to our channel, big hello and a big, big welcome. We're so excited to share all of our adventures with you guys. We have so many fun things planned for this year. So many little trips away and getaways. So many surprises that the girls don't know about. And I just feel like this year is going to be a good year. So a big, big welcome to all of our new subscribers. And hope you like what you see. We will see you all again at 6pm tomorrow. Good night, guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.